Hello everyone and welcome back to Codeflix. So today I have brought an interesting topic. So I'll start with the demo only. So I'll open the browser and as you can see, add markers to show location in Google Maps. And if you see the flags which I have shown here, these are the custom markers. And if you point, you can see that India. If you point on the map, you will find which country the map is. The map is of a particular country. So here is Egypt, India, here is, here is the Netherlands, here is Russia, here is United States. So these are maps of different countries which I have retrieved from database using PHP and MySQL and I have shown you in the Google map using the API key. So today we'll be making something like this. So we'll be taking some multiple countries and we'll be plotting them in the Google map and we'll be plot and show them using not the default marker which the Google map provides but we'll give our own custom marker. So these are the custom markers which I have made. These are the flags of each country which you can use and show. So today we'll be making something like this and this map is totally responsive. So you don't have to worry about the responsiveness as Google map provides responsiveness already. So today we'll be making something like this. So let's start. So first of all, I'll explain the project structure. So this is the DB controller file using which we'll make the connection to database and fire our queries using this. And then there is an index.php file using which we'll be displaying the map. First of all, we'll be retrieving the, retrieving the database, data from the database and then we'll display it on the map. So I'll show you the database. So the name of my database is Codeflix and the name of the table is TBL world country. So there are three fields basically ID, country name and marker. So using the country name, we'll retrieve the names of the countries from here and then using the geo location, we'll get the address of that countries or latitude and longitude of that countries. And these are the markers. So as you can see, these are the PNG files, which we will use to display the markers on our Google map. So this is the initial project setup. If I show you the file structure, this is the index file, this is the db controller file and here are the png files of the markers which we will be using which are stored right now in the database. So now we will jump onto the coding area. So this is the db controller.php file and in this video I will be just explaining the code to you because I have got many requests and they are asking that I explain the code more often. So today in this video, I will be explaining the more code more precisely so that you guys can understand. So this is the dbcontroller.php file and this file is used for making connection with the database. So we have made a class dbcontroller and we have declared the private variables. These are the basic host, user id, password and database of the php my admin. And I have shown you that we have used the codeflix database for this. Then we will declare a private variable called con to make the connection. Then this is the constructor called on which the connect db method is called this connect db method. And then in this connect db function, we are making a con connection to the database using MySQL like connect function. So we'll give the variables like host username, password and the name of the database. And then we'll return the connection variable or we can say the connection object, which returns either the connection is made or the connection is not made and on the base on basis of that we will decide if the connection is made or not. Then this is the run query function and this function is used if we want to just retrieve anything from database. So in this video we will be using just the run query function but I will provide you with this other functions like insert query get ids which you can use in your other projects also. So in this run project uh, run query function we'll be taking a result variable and then we'll throw a mysql -like query or fire a mysql -like query based on the query which we'll receive from the index.php file and then we'll get a result set from the query which is fired from the result which we get from the database and then we'll check we'll make a check if the result set is empty or not and if it is not empty we'll return it and we'll return the 
whole set of answers or whole set of data to the index.php file. So here, if you look at the database, on firing the run query function, we'll retrieve the this data, which is the ID, the country name, and the marker, the file name, and which will be using it in the index.php file. And as I said, we'll not be using these two functions in this video. So I'll explain those two functions next time, but they are easy to understand. So you can look at them and you can get what those functions are. Now we'll start with the index.php. So we open the PHP tags and required the dbcontroller.php file. So this file we have required here. And then we make a new object dbcontroller using the new dbcontroller class. So this is the dbcontroller class. And we are making an object of it $dbcontroller in index.php. And then we are writing our query select star from tbl world country this is the table name which i've showed you so i'll show you it again this is the name of the table tbl world country which are which we'll be using to retrieve the data and then we'll take a variable country result which will store all the result set or all the data which is retrieved from the database and we'll fire the query using the db controller object and the run query method which we so in the dbcontroller.php file and in parameters we'll pass this query so as this run query method function will be called we'll be passing the query here and it will fire the query along with the connection object and then we'll get the result set data if it is not empty then we'll return the result set which will again get stored in the country result variable so this will be an array which we can use here now these are the basic HTML tags with titles. These are some stylings and we have set the width of 700 pixels and height of 400 in the map. We can increase or decrease as per our functionality. So we'll go down. Now we are in the body and then we have a div map layer. In this div we will be showing the map. So we have given CSS if I show you to the map layer. So we have given CSS to the this div map layer div and we have set the height and width. So we will be showing the map inside this div. Then we will start with a script tag. The source is https maps.googleaps.com and then we have to pass the key and here we will give our own API key which will get generated using the Google Cloud platform and we will again pass callback init map. This thing is very necessary if you want to see the map then async and defer are also necessary but not compulsory if we want we can add but this source this is very necessary to see the map at our code or at the browser this script is very necessary and along with the script we have to pass our key and we have to generate it on our own and then we have started our script coding and then we have declared the variables map and a variable called geocoder now we have made a function init map and then in that we have made a variable map layer and we have get the map layer using the document dot get element by id and the id we have given is this div inside with the map which the map will reside and then we have given the center coordinates so what does this mean so center coordinates are the coordinates which will be shown when the map gets loaded first so when you lo when we we'll load the map these are the coordinates which will be at the center of the area of the map so if the height is uh, width is of 700 pixels at 350 pixels these are the coordinates which will be shown then there are the default options so the center will be center coordinates these are some default options and the zoom which is 2 you can increase or decrease as per your uh, functionality so you can keep the zoom 4 also or 3 also as per your demand then we'll make a map we'll take the map variable and give new google dot maps dot map and we'll give the parameters as map layer which is the layer of the map and the default options which we mentioned just now and then we'll create a new geocoder object using the new google dot maps dot geocoder now comes the php part in which we retrieve the data from the database so in that we make a if condition and check if the result country is not country result is empty or not if it is not empty only then it will go inside this loop of this for each loop and then we'll retrieve the country result as $k 
and then we'll pass it to the geocoder variable and in that we'll give this is the address functionality which comes in the geocode function and in that address we'll give the country name so as you can see the country result and the country name is retrieved from the database and then we make another function in callback and we pass on the location result and status variables this is some default code of geocoder which we have to write to retrieve from the uh, map the location from the map so in the address we have given the country name so the, so the markers will be kept on the that particular country and then we'll check if the status of the geocoder is okay if the status is okay only then it will proceed in the if and we set the latitude and longitude variables along the location result array so in that location result array we get the latitude and longitude which we store in our variables and then we pass that in the new dot maps dot google marker and these are some default properties so position map title icon these properties are not compulsory the position the map these are compulsory but the title and icon are not compulsory if we don't specify the icon it will use the default that red marker and if we specify the icon it will use that the title is if we hover so if i show you if we hover on a particular country say india or say united states so when we hover this is what comes the name of that country so this is what title means so on hover we retrieve the title which will be the country result country name again what we echo in the address the same thing will echo in the title and the icon is the name of the marker so if we take the uh, name of a country so suppose we take brazil so in that brazil brazil.png is the name of the marker which will get retrieved in the icon and then in the position we have given the latitude and longitude which will be displayed in the map and then the map which will give the map variable here and then we'll add all the tags and all the tags and then we are ready to run our code so this whole code is to retrieve the data from the database and you can add as many countries as you want and you can just add the name of the flags in the database and store the flags at the location which i have shown you and then you are ready to run so this is how you can create map and retrieve the location with creating your own custom markers so that's it for today's video thanks for watching